What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games. Today we're looking at another Game Pass game. This one is MechWarriors 5, attained via PC Game Pass. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's start off how we always do by installing the game. Now I'm just going to install it to one of my NDMEs. Now, while this is installing, I'm just going to add a disclaimer of this is a game I probably don't need to do this for. Of all the games Microsoft has put out, as far as PC Game Pass goes, and all the different ones I've shown you how to mod, this is by far the most straightforward and easy game to mod out of them. That's right, really simple how to do it, really straightforward. This is a game done right for modding by Microsoft. They don't create any random folder renames. There's no hidden locations you have to go to. You don't have to play with security permissions. You don't have to do any funky stuff as far as additional modifications file name, whatever. All of it just works. And it works relatively well. So while I needed, I'm also running dangerously low on Game Pass games to mod. I'm sorry, it's true. I need some suggestions, guys. Please help me out here. I need some more games to mod for Game Pass. Otherwise, I'm going to resort to doing I've got Hogwarts Legacy and uh, Sons of the Forest. I know those are both pretty popular for modding, but I enjoyed sticking more to the PC Game Pass theme. And yeah, it's just starting to run out of games. Anyways, go ahead and enjoy the music and the speed up while this goes. And I'll be back to talk to you about how to mod this thing here in a moment. All right, now as far as actually modding this goes, we actually can just start up the dang game. Not a lot you gotta do there. Except for wait, we're loading, and all of the normal screens. I'm trying to figure out why it won't let me shift screen. Change screens. What are the odds that the new install does not let you do windowless? Well, at least it's not windowless off the start. Oh, they just don't let you <laughs> modify screen during those. Anyways, as far as actually modding this thing goes, they have this handy thing here called mods. And even though I uninstalled and reinstalled it, all of my mods are there. So... We're gonna pretend like this never happened, okay? Okay, I gotta apply for it. Delete. Ah. All right, so let's go ahead and just delete all of these. Okay. So, once you have your new install going, you just click play, right? Hey, and it was cooperative this time. Let the game load up like normal, which takes a few seconds. We can go into single player now real quick, and we can go to instant action. This is just how I'm going to demo that the mods are working because you can easily see the different mods as far as the mechs available when you have clan mod installed versus not. So if we switch this just to assault, we have a total of like maybe 20 mods or 20 mechs at most. And we're gonna return to title screen now. And what makes this game so easy to mod is you can just come into mods right here and they have so this is option just to open your mods folder. So this is where all your mods are gonna go. As far as mods for this one, we're going to be using yet another mech lab. Yet another mech lab is a requirement for a ton of mods. So you're gonna need that for sure. That's clan weapons. This should just be normal weapons. There we go. Yet another Beck Lab weapons. 
Mod options. Fan invasion. Mod compatibility. 330 pilot overhaul. Then just in case I feel a little spicy. Well, not really spicy. Just in case I feel like adding a little more, there's a anime warrior portrait instead of your normal ones. And like always, I have downloaded them all already. Except for the second one for the anime warrior one, which let's just do that real quick. Do, 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 do. And manual download and slow down. Okay. Oh. All right. Now that that's going, all we got to do for these mods, the simplest thing ever is we just click into it and drag it into the folder. It's a click and drag. And downloads onto the next one. Click and drag. Downloads onto the next one. Click and drag. That one's actually a relatively large one. That was for modding. Uh, Grounded, so we don't need that one. Drag. Drag. Click and drag. Drag. And lastly, click and drag. Just like that, all those mods are installed now. So provided the file's done copying for the one, close, and done. Now that all those are copied over, I have no more pending files. All you gotta do is close out, close out. Go ahead and just hit Q or tap there to refresh your list. And here is all those mods available. So for the mech mod to display it working, you just need yet another mech lab, yet another weapon. And then we need the mod options and yet another fan invasion. And we comply and apply. Now if we go into single player and we go to instant action here, we should have a lot more mechs available. So let's go confirm that. Go to Atlas and change to Assault. We got nothing, so let's go ahead and restart the game and see if maybe that's the issue. So exit game, confirm, play a game. Sometimes you just gotta restart it. I also might have missed one of the requirements. Do, do, do. Yeah. That was all the requirement. Play. Basically, if the mod successfully loads, I should have direwolves, Kodiaks, uh, Aishis? Aishi a direwolf? I don't remember. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Mods are installed, active mods, yet another clan, yet another clan, mod options, yet another mech lab. That looks like everything should be good to go. So let's try instant action one more time, confirm that all those mods are up and running. And we should actually just have a display of all of the fun stuff we can now play with. I really wish I knew more mechs. My exposure to Mech Warrior series has basically been from like Mech Warrior three, four, little bit of five. Ooh, we got yeah. Just need a restart. We got an Alpha Wolf, which kind of just looks like an elemental to me, but whatever. 
Annihilators, Atlases were all there. Atlas 3. Banshee, Blood Asp, Dire Wolf. I swear this thing's called a Ban or a Daishi. I swear that was its name in like back where it for. Anyways, Kodiaks. Night Stars. I mean, yeah, just all the mechs, right? So that is how you mod Mech Warriors 5. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. And wonder. Let's go ahead and test something real quick, just for my amusement's sake. Get me back to title screen. We're going to try doing the modification on pilots and see if we can actually demo that through instant action. I think we can. Probably. So we go mods. Doop, doop, doop. Nope. Eh, whatever. Doop. Bye. We'll just do them all. All the mods. Let's try instant action again and see if we have anime portraits now because before we didn't, right? Also, we can see if we can just break the game installing like seven or eight mods. Good, hopefully. Well, I don't think that worked for this one because those are definitely not anime pictures, I don't think. They look to be the same. Try this reload one more time and see if that'll fix for the anime portraits. If not, I'm just going to call it good there, but well, I'll probably actually just clip it. Back. But that's kind of neither here nor there. You may or may not even see this piece. Who knows? One of the great mysteries of life. Come on, main screens, please. Pretty please change screens. Sugar on top. Come on, go to my screen. There. Okay. And single player and instant action. And let's just see if those portraits Alright, and we're in, and we're going to just confirm because I don't care about the scenario. Ah, there we go. So yeah, whenever you install some of these mods, you're going to have to restart the game. But anyways, that's how you mod Mech Warriors 5. This was Couch Command. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.